Right, but they can instead of going to in, instead of going to Japan, they can go to Kuwait or or uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's the same reason, simple. Like a Vietnamese uh, living here, and they invite Vietnamese, Vietnamese their family, their friend, invite them come to Japan. And Kuwait, if they have some family, they do invite Kuwait. To Kuwait. I mean, so so what happened with the, the the nurses from in from Indonesia? Now that nobody wants to come to Japan anymore. Oh, this is uh, different because uh, uh, this is the government invited. Yeah, but they don't want to come anymore. Uh, so actually, Japan is now at the bottom of. No, uh, this is I know the very very about history. Nazi system is terrible. Mm. Yeah, I know that, but. Uh, Many Indonesians come to come to graduate you know, in Japan. Many people spread all over graduate school in Indonesia. A graduate school, yeah, that's mm-hmm. different from nursing. Right? No, and I I don't see the Indonesian workers in Japan. I never seen. It. But many Vietnamese are spread all over Japan. I don't know how come. But. Obvious thing is immigration, okay? The kind of immigration issue will be, will be solved by company. Like you said, house worker like, is coming to uh, Philippines from Philippines, many people. I don't know, how, how come so many people come to Japan, but... Uh, right, so that's, that's actually how immigration got started in yeah. the Netherlands. Eh? So we, uh, uh, basically, it was not a government affair. Companies who needed workers and they couldn't find enough workers in the Netherlands, they went to initially to Greece, to Italy, to Spain to get workers. But then, when the life standard was improving in those countries, they started to look further south. They they went to Turkey, to Morocco, to uh, Tunisia to find workers. It has nothing to do with and and actually we. Our uh, our businesses, our companies, they actively looked for people to to actually invite them to come and work in in, in our Oh factories. yes, yes, that's right, that's right. So the other big issue is kind of people, okay, the immigration kind of, kind of, kind of what kind of solution they try to make, but uh, people are coming, okay. But additionally, currently many African people. Try to come to Italy. Italy government put, rejected, but mm. finally Greece government accepted. But still keep coming, right? They cannot stop it. There are so many coming still. Yeah, from Africa. I don't think at the moment there are so many coming still. No, so many people coming. Are you sure? Yeah, they're coming. Because the smuggler, they got a lot of money on sending people to to Greece. I actually have a video about it. Yeah, mm. and also this one is the other immigra- um, immigration. But uh, for Japanese cases, uh, I don't know like, what kind of resolution they do they have. But uh, many people, Vietnamese, coming to Japan anyway. I don't know how many people live in Japan, or well, they are officially approved, or just uh, tentative staying, but many Vietnamese. I don't know. Like on lunchtime, and, uh, so that woman is almost Vietnamese. Really? Yeah. Mm. And, uh, you know, Vietnamese is uh, characterist. Character is very similar to Japanese. Huh? Not China, not like Chinese. Vietnamese is more similar to Japanese. It's good. No, not school. I just kind of, uh, <laughs> come on, come on, I was joking. <laughs> it's kind of very similar, similar feeling. Mm. And uh, Chinese, none of the Chinese working at uh, kind of restaurant or kind of place. I don't know where they have gone. Maybe they went home? Either five or ten years ago, every, every place is Chinese, but not anymore. Why, why I don't I why. still they are coming here, coming to Japan, but what kind of business they are doing actually? I don't know. We we actually the Chinese can find out uh Shiokubo, 
Uh, in Kebuklo, the Chinatown, actually they have. Oh, Korea. Chi big Chinokobo. No. Big, big Chinatown. Also. Korea. I had office in Chinokobo for years. Yes, yeah, Chinokobo also. Chinokobo I know China, Korea. Chinatown, but also. Korea. Maybe big Chinese people live there. Actually, Korea and um, um, uh, Bangladesh. Yeah. Bangladesh. Yeah. So good. Yeah. People from Bangladesh, so many in Chinokobo. What are they doing there? Ayashi, I don't know. Programmer? No, 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 no. More simple job. What are they doing? But my question is, okay, what kind of restriction do they have? But uh, Asian people increasing, increasing year by year. Right? So this is because uh, somebody requires them to come. Mm. So this kind of, you know, just... Uh, Border is overcome by people. Mm. Man, eh? okay. My 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 question is okay. But just... the, the problem is that the problem I see is that actually inside these companies they don't speak anything but Japanese. So how are we going to? Uh... Okay, just I observe the restaurant. Uh, she can speak Japanese six months later. Oh really? Yeah. Six months ago, she cannot understand. She worked. But six months later, she can speak Japanese. Really? That's, yeah. quite, that's quite impressive because uh, it took yeah, me much right, longer. Today, she spoke Japanese, right? Six months, she's six months before, she cannot speak Japanese. She couldn't understand what I told her. Mm. Mm. So how old are these people? Like in, in their are they, are they young is, people uh, or yeah, she is uh, twenty two or twenty five. Oh, very young. Mm. Are all of them so young? Hmm? Or maybe they, this is like just maybe just like Every, um, yeah. if you are yeah. younger than thirty, you can get a special visa except exemption. Yeah, yeah. For half a year, you can work in Japan. Mm. How that? So if you consider for immigration for Japan or immigration for America, Europe, immigration is, I think, a big interesting issue. What's going on? Immigration. Mm. For Japan, is I think, a very interesting issue. Mm. Just you said uh, Japanese forever, no globalization, but uh, society will going to change. Uh, immigration is an interesting issue. Mm. Also, the other issue is uh, AI is going to change the society. Mm. But um, I don't know what happened. Like uh, three years ago, years later, five years later, no taxi driver, driver here. America will just have a truck driver. Who's going to take care of these people? I don't know. Oh. In the United States, the state is not going to do it. Do you know the how many truck drivers? 3.5 million. Yeah. But uh, this driver is appear next two years. Long <coughs> range driver. So that's that's one percent of the entire population of the United States is truck driving. Mm -hmm. 3.5 million. That's that's one percent of the entire population. Really, one person? Yeah. The United States is 300 million people. Million, million that, that, that sounds million like a lot to me. Million but, says 3.5 million. Okay, well, I think that's too many. You me. Do you remember? Drug driver? Yeah. Video? Mm -hmm. 3.5 million. Do you remember? I, I think that's too many. But, uh, maybe they mean not only drug drivers, also the families and, and everybody related to it. Well, I'll tell you, this is the one drug job next to you. What happened? I don't know who's going to take care of me. Taxi driver, five years. So, mm. Japan is the same. Right. Taxi drivers, man. I, I heard this, this, this podcast about taxi drivers. Can you guess? I take taxi here to my, going back my home. Very easy. Right? 
automatic driver if they can handle it. Hmm. Right? Right. Or bus. Bus hmm. is more easier. Hmm. The, the, the route is uh, fixed. Hmm. Right? So, do you know Amazon Go in, in Shuttle? Amazon Go, the hmm. no, no, no person, no man, no man shop, right? Right. They have a hundred cameras is, uh, watching customers, right? right? But some other shop I read the uh, article, not hundred, twenty or ten or twenty cameras didn't get information ever for everyone. Hmm. Right. The sort of thing is concurrently going. But overseas people coming and automation is going and society was going to change in the future. This is a very interesting issue. Mm. Right? And I think uh, maybe somebody thinking about in future for the taxi driver or bus truck driver, what's going on. But uh, well, those people, I think that like, like taxi drivers, if you look at the average age of a taxi driver, and their original uh, education level, it's very difficult for them to, to change their job. Yeah, me too. I try to, oh, oh my God, me too. I'm, I'm trying to look for my job at age my age. Nobody hire me. I think, I, I really hope that that will change uh, because it's like ridiculous. You're perfectly f uh, capable of doing a job, so why wouldn't you be hired? No, no, no. Japanese is uh, very stubborn. They don't change. No, they don't change it. Also, a uh, senior person, oh, they just at the age of retirement age, oh, many people don't want to hire them. Useless. Right? Because uh, not like American people, a Japanese company just uh, lifetime employment, they don't have skill. Mm. Why? We need to hire them. No skill. Mm. 65 years old, no skill. Mm. What's for? Terrible. Not like me. Python? No, they cannot do it. Mm. Speak English? No, they cannot. What else you can do? No, they, they, they can't do anything at all. Mm. This is Japanese problem. It means back to the education. Currently, uh, whenever you're going to, after, before retirement, after retirement, you're going to live up next 30 years, you should get some skill, but nobody do it. Right? I try to study English, come to Tokuno school, nobody come to us. Right? They don't consider for the fu in future. I don't know who's going to take care of them. And uh, recently, as you know, Japanese government, you need uh, 20 million yen for the lifetime. Yeah? 20 million savings for lifetime. For lifetime? Lifetime. 20 million. Addition of 20 million is for, for lifetime. But government uh, pension plan will give you the 150,000, but not sufficient, right? Mm -hmm. And I got 150, no, less than that, but not sufficient. So you need to. You need to save 20 million. That's yeah, what they. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And then when you do that, you, you can survive. What they yeah, think. No, I couldn't. So like twenty million that sound, doesn't sound like a lot to survive if you tr if you if you are unlucky my you, wife, again my, your uh, my, power is getting oh no this is some problem uh, the power cord is too short yeah it's no way because my wife can spend twenty million a day <laughs> <laughs> right so I don't want to earn lots of money huh? useless. <laughs> It's like a like a bottomless pit. Yeah, that's right. So this, I think, we need to think about. Uh, we gradually focus on what we're going to do. At least human resource, big issue in our future. Mm. Shortage, but still we have lots of available people, and uh, skill mismatching. Yeah, actually, I mean, we have lots of people say, say that again. The world population is still growing, and actually, we're getting older. The healthcare is getting better and better. Yeah, Africa is, I think, next 20 years, they're going doubling up. Hmm. But uh, who's going to take care of them? 
well, hopefully they're going to take care of themselves and go, they're going to be the new engine of economic uh, uh, welfare in the world, but I'm not so sure. They cannot, you know, as you know, every family, five children, seven children. But that's, yeah. all, that's everywhere in the world that the history had repeats itself. Everywhere in the world, as soon as the, as the, as the income rises, the number of, um, uh, of children will decrease. You, you need to consider for China's history. Hmm. And uh, this morning I just uh, had a discussion about Han Peizu. And China's history, they have, uh, in the 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, they have five or seven children. Yeah. All the way around the raging war. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Africa is the same. Next 10 years, 20 years, still keep war. It's keep prevent, kill each other. Because they can survive by themselves. Terrible. Five children, they can't, they can't survive. It's impossible. Even GDP growth, no, it's really impossible. It means war. Mm, I'm not so sure. I, I actually do not share your idea. I think that uh, that there is not, there will not be a lot do of you, war. Do you know the Mauritanian? Mauritanian. Uh, so. He said, population exponential. But food is not the explanation. Who's going to solve it? I think that's going to be solved. I, I, I do not share that idea. He said many ideas. I, he said many years ago. But still same thing happened in China. It happened before. And also Africa is going to happen. still going on. I don't believe it. And China, okay, African people is currently immigration. Food. What do you think, Kimoto-san? Going to be a shortage of food in Africa? Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm. I thought it's a uh, balance of the balance uh, between uh, mm? Uh, urbanized and non-urbanized yeah, yeah. and countryside. Yeah. Uh, if people live in is uh, many people living in the uh, city, city mm. area, mm. Uh, that can kind of, uh, people uh, get the uh, destruction of the bath. But uh, if uh, Africa uh, could not get the uh, many many cities, uh, rural uh, direction areas, uh, people uh, make uh, many many uh, children mm. to make. Uh, uh, Get a plant from the uh, farm. Mm. That is a, a branch of the uh, city or uh, rural uh, area. I think it's already like forecasted that we will see a heavy urbanization in Africa. So it's quite sure that the city population, the cities, will grow very, very rapidly with yeah. with all the problems that w that will bring uh, congestion and, and housing shortage mm. and things like that. But it's it's almost certain that the cities will grow much more rapidly than the countryside. Mm. So cause uh, city problems. City problems, yeah. And uh, they have uh, very poor people there. Right. Instead of rural area, when they are living, they come to the city, they uh, get more poor. Right. And uh, the slum is spreading all over the city. And... Uh, like I studied Africa, Nigeria, Congo, is rural areas, eight years old women, that's almost everybody going to as a prostitute. They cannot sustain their life. Almost everybody. And how, what kind of prostitute they are doing actually? And they said 10 minutes. How much is it? 50 cents. Mm. 10 minutes 50 cents it's very cheap because oh. many people many people okay just some case local people just only give me lunch it's good enough for the sex this is currently undergoing because they are making children five seven everybody every family so this is a problem current problem they are actually prevailing in africa 
And then, just you said, urbanization is going on. More slum, slum, slum is get, get, you know, cause problems. And the uh, government cannot catch up with kind of expanding urbanization. But I didn't see that much problem. Of, of course, there's more prostitution in Africa than, than in Japan. But what you were suggesting, I, don't, I didn't observe that. I studied it, uh, and also this is Nigeria. But if you consider for the Mali, if you consider some of those areas, more terrible. 